Warming centers are opening their doors valley-wide and similar to Hurricane Hannah, health care officials are worried about coronavirus. Yeah, and they're asking people to be smart about how they stay warm this weekend. Here's Channel 5's Rudy Mireles. The cold weather is here, and as Cameron County officials work to find warm spaces for people without heat at home, they're reminding people to stay safe from COVID-19 as well. In Brownsville, officials are telling people it's not too late to figure out your next steps as temperatures continue to drop. Uh, the biggest part is we know the cold weather is coming. Uh, have a plan, you know, a warming plan, especially if we experience long-term power outages. Fire Chief Jarrett Sheldon says the city is working with local partners like the Ozanam Center to open warming centers. Around the county, places like the La Feria Dome also opening their doors. A move to prevent people from taking drastic measures like using barbecue pits inside to keep warm. If you're one of those people and you need help, that's what the domes are open for. That's what those warming centers are for. Cold temperatures, a common concern for emergency management professionals. But COVID-19 adds another layer. We've seen in some of the states that are colder weather year round that people were getting sick and exposed. And it's worrisome for health officials at all levels. It is a concern. If people are inside for longer periods of time due to the cold weather, there's more chances that people might get sick if they're not from the same household. Cameron County Emergency Management Coordinator Tom Hushin says the warming centers will be strictly following CDC guidelines. I'm making sure that you wear your mask, making sure family units stay six feet apart from other family units. For him, people opening their doors to friends and family is a bigger concern, and he's reminding residents to be smart about providing aid this weekend. You want them to come over, just make sure you follow the protocols. Make sure that you're wearing a mask. Make sure that you, you're staying six feet away, especially if you haven't seen them in a while. Both Sheldon and Hushin are reminding people to be smart about how they use a space heater over the coming days. Both of them stressing the importance of not plugging one into an extension cord. And Sheldon adds, if you're going to be picking up a space heater, pick up a carbon monoxide detector as well. It's only a couple more bucks and it's an added layer of safety. Now, Hushin says the county will be monitoring power issues over the coming days and says if it's needed, they will open a space, a power site that people with medical devices can come by and use if necessary. But both add regardless if you're going to a shelter or if you're going to someone's home to follow the three W's. Wash your hands, wipe down commonly used areas, and always, of course, wear a mask. In Brownsville, Rudy Mireles, Channel 5 News at 6.